financial institutions reveal they are beginning to see pre-COVID growth levels in sight as effects of the COVID-19 pandemic recede. Three, four uh, particular sectors. When I look at construction, uh, quite optimistic there. Manufacturing and trade, quite optimistic. Uh, tourism is another area that uh, you know we are drawing optimism from. So that is on the optimistic side. Now, all these things uh, are dependent on how quickly we get stability in terms of what is happening globally. Uh, the the, the Russia-Ukraine war is, I think, something that is top of everyone's mind. They're, they're the largest producers of wheat, oil and gas uh, in the world. Thanks and looking ahead after being hurt by bad loan ratios in 2021 as businesses aim to regain normality. The economy is generally stabilizing. Businesses are coming up and with the whole opening up of the economy, uh, we have seen impairment down by 78%. Uh, that has fundamentally driven uh, our profit after tax to 110 billion shillings. And I should say these are phenomenal results. Uh, it's the first time we are delivering above 100 billion, clearly showing the trajectory we are taking. There are three primary sectors that we've seen improvement, which caused us you know, the high NPOs in 2020. So the first one was construction, uh, the second one was uh, real estate, and then the third one was energy. So we started seeing those in 2021 come on the stream. Uh, you know, most of them actually you know, have made repayments or making efforts to actually you know, pay off their debts. Absa Bank posted a 15.4% growth in revenue from 316 billion in 2020 to 365 billion shillings in 2021.